What if a banana could design your next YouTube thumbnail? Okay, not just any banana. Google's nano banana model. It's changing the game for image generation. And in this video, I'll show you four AutoKit workflows that use it to create business cards, mockups, infographics, and more, all automatically. Let's get started. Howdy, I'm Larry with the AutoKit team, and if you're new here, AutoKit lets you build automations that connect tools, AI models, and image generators, no coding required. You can check out the link in the description to learn more. Okay, let's jump into the first use case. So we'll start off simple here, and we're gonna be generating custom business cards with a simple form submission. So here is our AutoKit workflow. We are using short forms, but you can use any form platform you're familiar with as the trigger, as long as you get the data in from the form. Uh, the form itself is pretty basic, contains fields for the data that you'd want in your business card, first name, last name, email, phone number, things like that. Once that data is submitted, sent over to ChatGPT. Now in ChatGPT, our specific thing that we're doing, telling it to do is create a prompt for Nano Banana. And here's what we're giving it realistic print ready business card. We're giving it all the field data that was submitted by the form. And we're asking it also to put in a logo and also a template, which I'll talk about in just a few seconds. But that's basically all ChatGPT is doing. No fluff, no niceties, just the prompt. That's all we want, okay? So we'll click on continue there, click on save. The next two steps is the first step is the template and the next step is the logo. So what are we doing here? Well, we're converting image files to binary files so that they can be sent via this API system into Google AI Studio. So how do we do that? Well, you have to host your files somewhere. I had no luck with Dropbox or Google Drive, so I used a platform called Cloudinary. All I did was upload the template for our business card in this action step and in the second action step adding in the logo so we're taking those two files together our prompt and our form data and putting into google ai studio in our google ai studio our prompt is from ChatGPT, and we're submitting the two images so we're both doing pngs here Optional fields are important because this is where your aspect ratio is. So we're doing three by two, which is kind of like a business card size. So that's what we're doing there. So we'll click continue there, click on save. Our next action step is to convert that binary file that Google AI Studio Nana Banana just created for us and put it back into a string URL so that we can send it off somewhere. And in this case, we're sending it to Gmail. So if we click on this, it's just taking the binary data output from Google AI Studio and we're putting it back into a PNG. So if we click on continue here, click on test action, and we'll take a look at the file that it produces. So we just highlight this and we'll right click, open up, go to that file. And here is our business card. It's got our company name in there. And all the information that was submitted in our form is now on our business card. Now let's move from print to product with our product mockup generator. Here is our AutoKit workflow. And we're doing things a little differently here. We're using Google Sheets as the trigger. And in our Google Sheet, we have the product name, the color of the product, a description of that product, which will be influencing our prompting for our nano banana creation, and a link to our logo on Cloudinary. Go back to our workflow here. Our OpenAI, again, is we want you to generate a prompt for nano banana, Google AI Studio action step. And here's the data product. So this is where we're getting the information from our Google Sheet and we're putting it into our messaging here. And then we'll click on continue there, click on test action. I'm using ChatGPT 5 here. I find that ChatGPT 5 does a better job of the prompt creation than 4.0 latest, but it takes a lot longer to process the request. And we'll click on save. And for the convert to file here, again, we're doing that converting to make it into a binary file. I'm just taking the Google Sheet input, the URL to the logo, and I'm mapping it here. You could put in the direct URL to wherever you're hosting your image, but I decided to just do it through Google Sheets. Click on continue, click on save. So then we get into our Gemini Google AI Studio action step. And if we open this up, 
Again, we're using the input from ChatGPT and our MIME type, be careful here again, is PNG because that is the file that we've got in for our logo. And the image data, you just have to uh, hit the add symbol here and grab it from the convert to raw base. It's this one right here where there it says blue file data. That's the one you want in there. And it will come in like that. Show optional fields here. Again, important. We're using 1024 by 1024 because it's a product mockup because this is a coffee mug. And we'll click on continue here. We'll click on test action and we'll click on save. And then again, we have to convert that binary data that was just created by Google AI Studio back into a string a URL that we can then share out or use in our products on Shortcut, WooCommerce, wherever it is. So we'll just uh, click on this. So here's our data input that's coming in from Google AI Studio. Our output is gonna be a PNG. And then we'll click on continue, click on test action, and we'll see what we get uh, while we're doing this. So we'll just highlight that, open it up. And here it is right here. Build with automations with AutoKit, boost them with AI, and it's got the AutoKit logo in there. So then we can then download this if we wanted to, or you could send it off to someone you know, in your workflow itself. Let's take that same AI power and put it into content marketing. So in this AutoKit workflow, we're generating an automated infographic or social media image, or even an ad for social media. So again, we're using Google Sheets as our trigger. We've got some information in our Google Sheet. If we take a look at that real quickly, we've got our title and a description. Our title is five tip, top tips to grow on Instagram. And for the description, we're saying for reels, videos, posts to go viral. Very basic stuff. You could come up with your own ideas there. But if we go back into our automation here, that data gets submitted. And then again, we're using OpenAI, ChatGPT. So we're asking it again to be that prompt engineer, that prompt generator, take the data that's coming in from the Google Sheet and we'll click continue here, click on save. And then in the Google AI Studio action step in the event selection, we're not using image editing because we're not adding any images. It's creating the image for itself. So we're using the image generation prompt here in for Gemini. So keep that in mind. And again, you're going to need an API key from Google AI Studio in order to get this to work. So if we go into the configuration, our model is nano banana. Our prompt is coming in from ChatGPT and our aspect ratio. In this case, we're using 1024 by 1024, but you could probably select one that fits better for what you're using this type of image generation for, such as 9 by 16. So we'll click on continue here and click on test action and click on save and go over to our convert to file. So we'll have to do that every time Google AI Studio generates an image for us because we have to convert it back into a string or a URL. Optional fields, you can give it a, a file name if you want to. And our output type is PNG. We'll click on continue, click on test action here and let's see what Google AI Studio Nano Banana generated for us. So we'll just highlight the URL here, open it up, and here is our graphic. Five top tips to grow on Instagram, make your reels, videos, and posts go viral. It's got our top five tips, and even has a little thing down here where you could go in and edit it, maybe in Canva or something, where you can add in your Instagram handle. My last use case here is to use Nano Banana to generate YouTube thumbnails. So again, we're using Google Sheets here, but you could switch this out to when a new video goes up on YouTube as your trigger. But for our demo, we're just using a simple Google Sheet where we have the title and description, and that is the basis for ChatGPT to create our prompt. Again, create the prompt for Google Gemini using the nano banana model and we're giving it the inputs and just the prompt please no niceties no fluff that's what i'd like to say and we'll click on cancel there again we're using converting to to a file here because we are wanting to put in a base file of me pointing in our youtube thumbnails so why not and so that is our base or our template that Nano Banana will create on top of. And so if we go into the Google AI Studio a selection here, we are using the image editing text plus one image because we want that base template in there. So again, need an API key to connect to Google AI Studio. Under the configuration tab, we're using that prompt from ChatGPT and we're using that convert to file to add in that image data, our template, our base. Okay, so we'll click on continue there, click on save. 
and then we want to convert it back into a string URL. That's what we're doing here. We'll click on test, click on test action. So we'll just highlight the URL here and we'll open it up. And here it is right here. Not bad. And I think it looks pretty good. I think the background is a little suspect, but it's not bad for the first pass. And it really is about controlling your chat GPT prompt. So if you want only specific things, if you don't want icons or other graphics in there, then you specify don't add anything else just the phrasing that will add in curiosity for the viewer and that's what i did here so it has the template it has my picture there of me pointing and then it added everything else so from here we'll just click on save and the last step here if you're feeling confident enough is to send that generated graphic up to your youtube video and have it set as the thumbnail so there you have it four ways to use Google's Nano Banana inside AutoKit to completely transform how you create visuals. Each of these workflow recipes is linked in the description for you to go try them out yourself. If you have questions or if there's a specific use case you'd like us to demo next, let us know in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.